So today we're looking at this IBM ThinkPad. It's a T40, T41. It's a refurbished laptop and we'll just go through the features that it has. Now just looking at the keyboard, uh, it's a 14.1 inch TFT active screen and I'll show you a little bit more about that later. Down here you've got your wireless indicator, uh, your battery indicator, your standby power, all, all along the front there. Just to the left of it, here, you have your on off button, your power button. Move down to the right here, you've got your left and right cursor keys. Uh, they can actually be used, when, when you're in your browser, you can use them as your back and forwards key in, say, Internet Explorer. This is a unique item to a ThinkPad. It's called the track point stick and you can use it for moving your mouse across the screen left, right, up and down. Then when you go to further down you've got the touchpad here, you've got the left and right buttons just like with a mouse and you've also repeat them down here left and right. Further you can see here on the space bar um, you've got a magnifying glass there and also on the left you've got the function key by pushing function spacebar that allows you to magnify whatever's on the on the screen. And when we move further up we've got the access IBM. Now if you press that that actually allows you to go into the setup for the computer. It also gives you software tools and utility tools. It also gives you access to websites of IBM. And just to the right of that you've got your volume up and down for the sound that comes out of the computer. We also have got your mute button just to the right. Just moving the computer around to the left hand side. Let's just have a look what's there. Here we've got the uh, security hole that you can use to uh, secure the laptop with a security cable and a lock that fits in through there. Here we've got two USB points for things like a printer or a digital camera. Next to that we have a video out connector and that's where you can connect the uh, a television to. Next to that we have a uh, modem connector where you can put a telephone line in. Next to that you have a, an ethernet connector. Next to that you have uh, the headphones and the microphone so you can listen to so DVDs through headphones. You can also input um, sound in through this point through a microphone. Next up we just have the fan louvers just to keep keep the system cool and next to that we have the PC card slot and this you can insert numerous PC cards such as a modem, uh, data storage and they support PC card type 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so moving from there, if we turn the computer around, we'll see up the up the top here, here, and also around on the side here, here, are the wireless LAN antennas to make your, your wireless reception uh, a lot stronger. Now just moving along, uh, down here you've got your hard drive. Uh, to the right of that we've got the CD, CD-ROM DVD player and a little bit further on we have a an output where you can connect an external monitor to it. Okay now if we turn the computer over and just have a look underneath it towards the back here we have the uh, we have the battery next to it here we have the uh, the docking connector we can connect the, the laptop to a um, to a docking station to extend the capabilities of, of the of the computer. This is the memory upgrade slot, so you can add RAM if, if need be, depending upon what you're running. Okay, so now if we just draw back, go down the front here. Just here we have the infrared port for connecting to things like uh, PDAs, uh, mobile computers. And next to it here we have the speakers. As we just move over here, we've got the labels for identification, uh, the IBM details. Down here is the Windows uh, Certificate of uh, Authenticity, just there. Turn it over to the back. Uh, there are a couple of points. 
Uh, there is only a couple of points to note here, which is a parallel connector and also point four connecting um, the AC power.